I'm about to show you under the microscope why a guitar string might sound like a sitar. There's a few reasons why it might happen. In this case, we have a bad nut. So welcome back to Guitar Quackery, where quackery is king. As you know, there's an old Chinese proverb that says, the devil is in the details. Well, that's why we're gonna use a microscope. So just stay put and enjoy. We hear sitar buzz. If we look at a string, we see why. The string is moving inside of the string slot. Uh, string slot is way too wide. So if we remove the string, we can see that the string made a, an impression at the back end as well. So maybe if we file uh, a little bit off from the back end, there will be more pressure at the front end that might improve the situation. So let's do it. Okay. I can still hear it. So um, we have to file the string slot a little bit deeper. The problem is that it's already been filed very deep, um, very low. So um, it's uh, a little bit risky to try to go any lower, but we, we don't have a choice. So let's try to do it and see what uh, we get. still hear it. It's a little bit better, but I can still hear a little bit of sitar buzz. Small improvement. I think I can go a little bit deeper.
there's less weight link inside of the string slot. I still have a little gap between the first fret and the string, so I think I can go a little bit deeper. In fact, I know I can. improved but it's still there I can still hear a little bit of buzz so basically now we have um, a groove, a smaller diameter groove inside of a bigger, uh, of a wider string slot. And we have, we have a situation that um, is producing the string buzz. So I filed the back end. You can see how, how the string moves when I uh, push it down with my thumb. So let's put the string under the string tree. Well, I think this improved the situation but I can no longer file any lower so I have to leave it as is and see what the customer wants to watch through this whole thing congratulations uh, but now you also understand why we have to charge so much to uh, make a knot for you right it took about 10 minutes just to reshape this single string slot so for a six string guitar it's gonna take about an hour just to cut the string slots but we also have to shape the actual knot from the blank we have to prepare the work area on the guitar etc etc oh sorry Guitar quackery. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention that. I, I will tell everyone. Yeah. I, oh, don't forget to subscribe. Thank you, bye. This viewer wants to know what kind of files I use. Well, the file that I used in this video is a Music Nomad diamond file. I'm going to make a separate video about those files. They're excellent. All right, so if you think that you enjoyed this and that you liked this video just let me know by clicking the like button you can also tell your friends by sharing it and if you want youtube to know that you like this video just click subscribe 
This way YouTube will recommend these kind of videos to you in the future. If you want to buy me a coffee, I won't say no, I will say thank you. You can click the link below that says buy me a coffee. You can also join Guitar Quackery on Patreon and you can buy some Guitar Quackery merch. There's a link below for that. Thank you very much and I will see you soon.